Hey everyone, it's Holly, and today it is time for another Top 5 Wednesdays. The topic for this week, the 23rd of March, is books you did not finish. I had sort of a, a moderate time thinking of books that I did not finish. I mean, there are quite a few, but there are a lot that I plan to get back into, I guess, and there are a lot that I don't remember, um, but yeah, let's just jump right into this. Number five. My number five book that I did not finish is actually a series, and that is the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. Now, I have read this book, and I have read quite a few books into the series, but the recent books, like the, I want to say it's around the 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th books that have been out, I haven't read them, um, so that's why they're on this list, but they're also number 5 because I plan to eventually get back into them at some point. Um, it's just, lately, it's, I've had all these other books to read, and these books have not interested me like they once had. So, yeah, eventually, hopefully, I'll get back into these. If not, well, that's really unfortunate because these have a really good premise, but the way things started to go with the later books, uh, I don't know. Number four. My number four book that I did not finish is also a part of a series, and that is The Immortal Series by Alison Noel. Again, I did read the first two books in the series, this one and Blue Moon, um, I th think. I also read the third one as well. Um, yes, I have the third one as well, along with the fifth one that I didn't realize was the fifth one. And so I stopped reading after the third one because I didn't have the fourth one like I thought I did. And I just haven't gotten around to picking it up. And the way that this series has been progressing, it's been mediocre to me. Um, it's one that hopefully I can get back into. But it's also one I, I don't think... I'd be excited to get back into as I would be with House of Night. Number three. The third book on this list that I did not finish is Lush by Gus Wheel. And I picked this up at a thrift store because it had an interesting premise. Um, it has sort of cannibalistic vibes and this, I think the main protagonist is sort of trapped in this sort of mansion type deal and it's haunted and this family that lives in the mansion are really weird and just all of those creepy things and I got a little bit into this book, I want to say halfway through, but I just couldn't finish it. I don't know why, but there was something about it that I just couldn't finish at all. So, I mean, it's on my bookshelf with all the other books that I've read, but I haven't completed it, and I don't know if I want to, but... It's not really like I can read the synopsis online or anything because, like, there's barely anything about it on Goodreads and 
It's just one of those kinds of books. I don't know, I might try to read it again in the future. It depends how I'm feeling. If I'm in the mood for this book. And yeah. Number two. My number two book on this list that I did not finish is Feed by M.T. Anderson. And the premise of this book, um, when I saw it at the thrift store, it fascinated me. So I was like, I might as well pick it up. Um, the synopsis on the back reads, We went to the moon to have fun, but the moon turned out to completely suck. So says Titus, a teenager whose ability to read, write, and even think for himself has been almost completely obliterated by his feed, a transmitter implanted directly into his brain. Feeds are a crucial part of life for Titus and his friends. After all, how else would they know where to party on the moon or how to accessorize the mysterious lesions everyone's been getting? But then Titus meets Violet, a girl who cares about what's happening to the world and challenges everything Titus and his friends hold dear. A girl who decides to fight the feed. Um, that's pretty much all that I know about it. I think I've read the first chapter or so. Um, I mean, it is an interesting premise. It reminds me of the Ugly series in a way. But I don't know why I just couldn't get into it. Like, the book itself has a really nice feel to it. It's like thick and sort of small and it's it's just nice to hold and I was hoping that I could get into this a lot more but I just didn't so it's one that I will most likely have to donate because heaven knows I have to get rid of some of my books because I have way too many and there are some that have been just sitting on my shelf for so long and I just have to de-haul them. I'd hang on to it for a bit longer, I don't know. Um, but seeing as I have all these other books to read again, um, probably not gonna get to it, so yeah. And number one. I do not own this book, but I have read quite a bit through it, and that book is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. I heard amazing things about Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, and especially about John Jonathan Safran Foer. And I just, it, it was more of a chore for me to read the book. I remember I read almost all the way through it, but the last little bit I just couldn't, and I just stopped reading it, and that was that. Um, the concept, the concept was kind of fascinating, um, but I found that the movie was a bit better. I have no idea why the movie was still a little bit boring to me though, and again, I just couldn't get into it. So yes, that is my top five books that I did not finish, and let me know in the comments what books did you DNF. Um, if you have any high praise for some of the books that I did not finish so that you could somehow encourage me to actually sit through them and read them. Um, but if not, that's cool too. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to know what you guys think. So that's it for this top five. And I will see you all next week for another Top 5 Wednesdays video. Bye! My number three book that I did not finish is Flesh by Gus Weir. Nope.